Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. This is a very, very special edition. This one actually is special. It's because we're in person. We got a house in Florida. We've got Nigel, Nigel and Alan. And Alan. <laughs> yep. We got we we spent Wait, why are you guys double co-hosting? We huh, somehow it started, managed. it started on us. And so <laughs> yeah. it would feel weird for somebody to be talking off screen. Yeah, but Wait, go to, like click number gone. one, click number one. <laughs> okay, now uh, Nigel, talk to me. Don't don't change it. Just leave it on number one. Nigel, how's it going? Pretty good. You see, it, it, it's weird if you're talking, but you're not on the screen. So we're co-hosting because we were on the same shot. Oh, but where are we then? Are we? You're off screen right now. We're this off screen like, right now? Yeah. Then, then you point to them. You guys want to pet? Look at the camera and talk to it. Oh, so now we're, now we're here. <laughs> and now we're off screen. And now we're off screen. Oh, hell but, yeah. But if you, you press, if you press number three, Get then we're all we're on all the on screen. screen. Oh, no, that's not special anymore. Wait, I got to itch my nuts. Go to them really quick. <laughs> is, it, is it recording everything simultaneously? I have a feeling you're showing me itching yeah. my nuts, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's recording all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, do you know what it does? It makes a Da Vinci file. Okay. It makes a project file in the editor. Interesting. So he's and, kind of making like a rough cut. Yeah. And then uh, if it doesn't look good, if he does a bad you job, can, like, we, can still, we can still fix it. The good news yeah. is that pretty much every every podcast episode we record is a bad yeah. job. Yeah. 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 Now we're having and two conversations. And I like the back and forth a lot. <laughs> like how could he? How could the editor the do a bad job if the host is already really were doing a shit job? <laughs> It's like two conversations. How about we all have conversations? <laughs> Somehow, yeah. Yeah. Somehow yeah. this is worse than when we're not in the same he, room. He has, he has to figure out how to live switch between each, each he's on conversation. His, he's on his phone right now. What? You, what? This This is literally how we're paying our rent for this two weeks. And you're on your phone looking at memes? Give your phone to Alex. Um, yeah, so we're, we're... I thought this was going to make the podcast better no, it, if we're all in the same room. It's so much it's just worse. much worse. This is somehow. so much better. <laughs> I enjoy this. Look at you get a free foot show. If you enjoy feet, I'm the only subscribe one to not. our Patreon. Nigel's feet are shy. <gasps> Nigel, give them what they They're want. They're covered and hidden. They deserve, oh, they deserve your feet. Oh, 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 take your socks off. On the Patreon recording after this, Nigel's going to show you his feet. <laughs> there you go. And somebody Thanks. might get a That's Polaroid untrue. of Nigel's feet. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a bunch of things that we've been doing recently. Uh, Alex is, is right here. We, we, we couldn't do five because we don't have enough. Yeah, well, give me that. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, let's give me. do one right now. Yeah, we'll do one right this now. This is a special Oh, yeah. One. All right, so this the, is going to be a picture of Nigel. Wait, actually, no, this is going to be a, a black card first. Wait, why? Because it's got like the, the so cover. So we promised everybody that subscribed to the oh, Galaxy yeah. Brain tier on Patreon that they get a uh, they get a Polaroid every three months, a random Polaroid from the of one of the hosts. So we're going to be doing that. Oops, did I cover the flesh? <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever gets this picture, it's going to look like ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a special one. So we, we are now, I think, at four or five months. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> But we had a we've got a lot of photos to take. We have two boxes of a hundred that we have to go through. Yeah, I'll take one of Kevin. <laughs> nice. I feel like this is the worst start of the podcast. We've no, people say they like it when it feels like we're disorganized. We have we started recording. <laughs> so we're in Florida, here for Creator Clash, and uh, this podcast is as real as it gets. It's actually like <laughs> what you're witnessing right now is how every day is. Uh, Kevin got stabbed. Alex stabbed me mm -hmm. uh, on we, accident. We've been we went fishing. We caught a bunch of fish, and then we <laughs> <laughs> we left him. Um, I wasn't here for this, so we I... didn't bring. Okay, so I don't know if it's like the trauma of never catching fish, or that we just didn't <laughs> expect that we were going to catch fish, or we just have like uh, brain worms. We didn't bring any ice or a or or a cooler. Yeah, those fish roasted. What do you call them in Australia? <laughs> Eskies. Eskies. I know Alexa told you to bring an esky. Yeah, I said. Oh. You were there. You could have got it, picked one up in Walmart too. So, so we went to Walmart because Alex had to get his eyes checked for his boxing match to make sure they, that if they're crooked after the match, it was because of the match and not because before the match. Yeah. And we left. Is that there. actually why? Why do you have to get your eyes checked? So they want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to be like extremely damaged from a fight. Like if he has mm. like an injury to his eye, they're going to check and see if it got worse or something. The reality is, uh, you probably shouldn't even be fighting at all. <laughs> yeah. even if you're perfectly healthy. Like, so, no, they, 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 you go the doc, back huh? and they just go, "Oh yeah, your eye's worse than before." Like. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Odd like, thing for the optometrist to sign off on. Anyways, the fish rotted in the back of the truck. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> what the fish became bait. <laughs> we caught we caught a bunch of catfish. We ate those. Yeah, they weren't good. Did you know that the catfish here they have this they have fins on them that are loaded like I guess they're venomous. And if they you try to take the hook out, they can like whip you with their you know their dorsal fin or their side fins, and it could stab you and 
It's bad. How bad? Like, is it like a? I guess it like swells up. Like it feels like you got stung by a hornet, and it's loaded with like venom Ugh. and uh, and bacteria. So <laughs> worse than getting stabbed with a kitchen knife trying to unlock a locked door in an Airbnb. Well, at least I didn't feel betrayed when the catfish tried to stab me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I had to drive Kevin to the Walgreens, not the hospital, the Walgreens. <laughs> the Walgreens. It's not infected yet, is it? No, yet. no. It has a super glue uh, scab. scab on it right now. Yeah, it's kept it closed. It was deep. Like I, when I moved my oh. thumb, I could see the, the stuff inside of my thumb. I almost fainted. That's never happened <laughs> before. I was like seriously feeling faint. I had to go sit down. I like your reaction. You just said... Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of people's reactions though. <laughs> oh, this yeah. isn't good. Oh boy. Whenever I hurt myself really bad like that, it's usually just disappointment. I'm yeah. like, it's like, it's like, wow, we're stupid. The pain isn't bad. I just know that the next couple of weeks is going to be a huge like nightmare of like mm -hmm. trying to like manage, especially on the inside of your Ugh, hand yeah. like that, where you're constantly like Does stretching the skin. It doesn't hurt at all. It's because the nerves are cut. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's, but no. I think that's what makes it hurt. Picture time. <laughs> it's just gonna keep taking photos. So we're in Florida here for Creator Clash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, Take it like a Polaroid picture. I didn't think it it developed uh, that quickly. This we're sitting in the garage before. of an Airbnb right now. Yeah. I'm just in there. Um, it's really hot in Florida. <laughs> Why are you it looking is. at me like that? Florida's a magical place. <laughs> Florida is like, I don't want to say there's something wrong with Florida because it might offend Alan's people. Alan's looking at me in a way I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this picture is exactly the same. Uh, but there is seriously something wrong with Florida, Kevin. Kevin, is the water fluorinated here? No. Okay. Oh, no. that's it. That's, that's crazy. Why. This is actually how normal people yeah. act. Everyone else is weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've noticed there's a lot of fat people here in Florida. <laughs> it's the lack of fluoride. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, there's more it's like statistically there's more than california and i don't understand why kevin you have any insight i feel like that? a lot i think of... it's just we have a lot of old people and old people are fat i think that's <laughs> what? What, i mean statistically Facts. speaking i feel like you i feel like there's a filter there where if you're you're right fat, you think die. there should be there i don't should i think be. old people will be skinnier than actually. maybe the healthcare is really good in florida <laughs> but i think a lot of the people who live here are not from here right snowbirds like there's a lot of people yeah, who are yeah definitely like pretty new residents to florida all right we back to, on track what do we talk about we, need we have an obligation to take like 200 photographs is it 200 how many is it? i actually have no idea how many it's a lot somebody actually we, we asked somebody to figure this out for us and they did and they wrote Evan. a script and then we didn't use that script and we used another script but anyway no, we didn't we didn't tell people we needed help we yes, told we them that we had this problem no we, we asked for help someone anyways we have <laughs> yeah, we did actually i think did we ask somebody to do it yeah well we, i think we're like, if anyone can solve our problem oh anyway somebody solved our problem somebody much better at programming than us so uh yeah we're gonna we should yeah speaking of the devil it's a lot of it's a lot of pictures picture time what take a picture <laughs> of, of yourself it's just my <laughs> yeah, why it's is it me because otherwise it's kind of close to kevin <laughs> like if i had to take one of kevin i have to get like really up in his grill like that's kind of bad, right? <laughs> nice. Well, that one's gonna be bad. No, it's not. So anyway, what do you want to talk about? Cars, fishing, fishing. What have we talked about cars? so far? Crap. I got here last we, night. So we I don't rambled. Know yeah. Okay, we can talk about um, oh. hot wiring. Uh, nope. <laughs> how about uh, animals and videos? Like what? What's oh, that's of, like? A good when one. is it okay to have an animal in a video, and when do you think people like freak out about it? You know, I'm asking for a friend named Alan Pan. Yeah. <laughs> about see, what? About do we say what happened? I don't. Uh, I mean, just mm. I, oh, I yeah. like Kevin caught a snake, uh, and I'm and then keeping the snake. It. The snake tried to bite us a whole lot. It did <laughs> bite me it twice, bit <laughs> <laughs> which was a lot. Twice? Kevin's gotten a lot of injuries. I so mean, far. it's a lot yeah. compared to the number of snake bites I've ever had before in my life. <laughs> I mean, how many snakes have you wrangled and then like grabbed and then? A lot. Really? Wow. And that's the first time you've gotten bit. Well, it was like I knew that we had to get a snake for Alan's video, and I saw my chance, and I knew it wasn't a poisonous, venomous snake, so I, I pounced on it. I didn't care where I, where I, I grabbed it. Yeah, and the footage it. is amazing. Yeah, like the snake. It's, first of all, the snake is incredibly fast and angry. Yeah, it's angry. It's so angry. But Kevin was faster and angrier. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you grabbed the snake and the snake grabbed you. Well, I didn't know that if you could, if you grabbed the snake by its tail, I didn't actually think it could come up and get you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They can stand the black racers. Like yeah, like it came all the way up and it bit me in the hand. Twice. <laughs> Twice. 
It wasn't bad though. Can't you grab by the head? No. Well, well y- y- yep. y- that you don't want to do that either, because like if you get close to it, we have to it can easily r- come around and get you. Yeah, I no, think, but you have to you grip the head. Well, but you have yeah, to you have to like get your hand to it. Yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. process. It's like oh, if it's, 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 it's the you. last mile problem. Yeah. You know, you can get like within a couple feet of the snake, but the last few inches is like Yeah, mm. last snake mile. I, I thought you were sneaking up on it. Yeah. No, no, no it was already know, no, no, it was very yeah. aware and very slithery yeah. and very Yeah, angry. and I think he has some pretty bite. robust face detection. Like once he was in the bin, he seemed to be tracking our faces like very <laughs> accurately. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I just kind of I wanted a pet snake for a video where I have a snake, and uh, the problem is, is, like, I'm kind of afraid people are gonna be mad at me. It's okay. You can you can catch snakes. You're rest- and You're stuff saving like that. it. Yeah, I'm saving it from from <laughs> from, from, from nature. Dude. <laughs> from, <laughs> you see nature's the, all scary. the horrible horrible like videos of you know you're, like the side of the road. And yeah, people run animals. over snakes. They run over every, anything and everything. <laughs> snakes get eaten. Yeah, by birds. But it's like, have you guys have you guys ever done like animal videos? Yeah, yeah. I've Shut had some up. ideas before that I couldn't do. Like what? Worse than I, I feel up bad even snake. saying these ideas. I don't even know if I could say this. You know, <laughs> that bad. What? Why were they well, ever? Let's video take like a picture this? right before Kevin incriminates himself. Yeah, I feel bad because it's like you know the video cancellation. Just thinking of ideas like this might be like people might get mad at you. Just call it an intrusive okay. thought. It's yeah, yeah. If it's, it's really bad, thought. we'll tell the editor to cut it out. No, not it's not way. that bad. So okay. it's like. You know, if lightning strikes the ocean, what happens to the fish in the mm. ocean? I think they well, die. Well, to find out, I was thinking, why don't I buy a bunch I of goldfish? I became God. And I, I build a Marks generator, like a lightning generator, and I shock a giant tank full of fish. <laughs> I think it's that's going to happen. But that's, I think that's different. I think that's like, you just going to kill it's, the fish. Yeah. The lightning is different. Well, here's, I, have a, I had a turtle at this point, and he would eat goldfish. So like I could feed him oh. goldfish. So it was like kind of they wouldn't be yeah, dead yeah, for yeah. nothing. Right. And uh, people stun. They like stun fishing. You ever seen that yeah. where they like shock the? Uh, oh right, right. Oh, right. you know what? I have seen videos of invasive fish being stunned. Oh yeah, like the carp down yeah. in Louisiana. They drive Asian these carp? boats over these huge like wands like going into the oh, water, wow. and then fish just come floating so up behind fish. the boat. Like how do they hundreds. do it with electricity? It's electric, like electric. Yeah, it's like pulse them, yeah. or something. Like, I think it kills them though. Maybe it's they're big fish too. Yeah. Like, so my guess is like how what does electricity do in water anyways? Because like, well, that's what this video was about. It was kind of like it wanted to show you the square cube. Show you law. what it does. Yeah. Like yeah. the further away from the mm. electric, like the less potential there would be between two points, so you'd right. be safer. Because and fish are so small, like they don't get that much. Like there's not a big potential from their head to their tail, right. so they don't really get affected that much. Like not like people would if they were swimming in the right. water. Mm-hmm. Because there's kind of like a weird, like, like when you think of electricity, you think of it running through wires. But when you're like yeah, talking in, about in the ocean, water, it kind of gives you like a perfect, like almost, um, you know, like when you see in a book, like two point chargers and electric yeah. field lines between them, it yeah. kind of gives you like a perfect representation of that. Actually. It would be like a perfect gradient from like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. pure death to, okay. yeah. And even the, the, like the sort of lines, because what I've done before is like, I've, I've, <laughs> I've stuck wall voltage into a tank of water and I did the thing where it's like, you put like an LED in there. Mm. Oh, and interesting. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. So the LED lights up and not only does it light up because I had it like on just a stick that I was sticking in the water. You can move it around. And when you see sort of like where the LED lights up and where it doesn't and like the orientation, it's just like you can see it's the just field. the electric field lines. Wow. So it's like there's a curvature to it, too. Well, you could. What if you build an entire tank? And like a giant LED, like not matrix, but just an LED light. You would you'd probably be able to see like the brightness pretty, yeah. like brighter towards the source. Uh, it's more like it's it's bright. It was more the orientation because like you could turn it so that the legs were like between yeah. or like a little bit tilted, right? And that was sort of the main way to like tilted. Yeah, <laughs> cringe. Uh, so I mean, it's like if you have the two points, then like any fish in between, especially if they're probably like lengthwise, <laughs> I think that's yep. probably the worst for them. Yeah. Yeah, if you were close, it'd be bad. Yeah, because I guess in in like with lightning, there's only really one point is the lightning strike and then the entire ocean would be yeah. a negative electrode. It, yeah, it so it's kind of like if you imagine a like a bowl upside down underwater, mm-hmm. that's kind of like the shape that it dissipates in. Yeah. Like a half of a sphere, it's I like guess. A, it's like a bomb, basically. Mm. Like an electron an underwater bomb. bomb. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 it's like, you know, you think of like electricity going through a wire, but when it's going to the ocean, it's literally just like a capacitor kind of at that point. Like it's like the electrons are just sort of dispersing into yeah. everything. Uh, yeah. It's like there's like there's there's so much energy, but there's so much storage that it kind of just like 
gets like, yeah. sucked up. I mean, that's how like ground works. Is like the ground is quite literally just holding yeah, on electrons. Like, like way that you're not supposed to hide under a tree if there's a lightning storm, right? Because it strikes right. the tree, but like even though the tree is sort of like grounded, it's not a perfect it's not perfect conductivity. So there's a gradient. There's always right. a gradient, right. and so yeah. it's like the gradient. If you're standing on the tree between your two feet, is enough to fucking kill right. you. Yeah, you might have like a thousand volt gradient yeah. between your feet, yeah. and it yeah. could. So it's like the, the lightning bolt is the bottleneck, and like right mm -hmm. when it hits the water, it starts dispersing out. And so the further away you are from that bottleneck, mm. the less there's going to be. Yeah, yeah. And if you're an extremely long fish to orient it the wrong way, <laughs> then you get extremely Or a whale. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Or one of those giant squids. <laughs> like just tentacle like, the tentacle. It's yeah, like all of a sudden lightning strikes, and then a couple seconds later, there's like it's a like detonation these, like, underwater. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so every time lightning strikes water, a bunch of fish die? Probably. Yeah, uh, if they're yeah. close to the surface, but maybe they learned. Do you think they have any sort of like genetic? I hope they hear thunder and they just die. Yeah, or like the like the sparkling of the rain hitting the ocean. Yeah, like I think that fishing is harder. Like it's harder to catch fish if it's okay. stormy out. Yeah. Because they, they like stay. <laughs> or maybe they can see the flashes. They're like hear the screams of the other I fish. I mean, I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably stay away from the bright flashes too. Yeah. So, so like if someone like Action Lab, right, puts flies in, are we allowed to just call people out? Like, yeah, because I think that was okay. I don't see anything if wrong with that. If he puts flies in a vacuum chamber, right? Because I think of the, a lot of the comments so I, are I, angry I, about that. I, in a video I took down, I tested something on ants oh, years no. ago. Oh, no. <laughs> magnifying glass versus ants. <laughs> Giant magnifying glass. <laughs> Turning ants into a magnifying glass. It was picture glass. time. <laughs> Post cancellation. <laughs> Pre cancellation. <laughs> the, um, no, I made DDT and I tested it on ants. Is that anything like DDR? That's like a bug <laughs> repellent, though, isn't it? Oh, you know, it's DDT like a... is basically wait. That's the calcium oh, deficiency yeah. thing, right? It's. I think it. It is literally. This is a special one. Uh, it's the one that kills birds. It's the Nigel tortures ants picture. Yeah, <laughs> this is a good one. Maybe it is calcium. I forget which one it is. Yeah, look at that. But it's, it's like it's basically like a, it kind of looks like a crime. Maybe scene. it's a yeah, it's yeah. a nerve agent. This is like they would bring this up for, in the deposition. Yeah. Right, but it's the reason it's banned is because a bunch of birds were getting killed. Correct. It has nothing to do with like. And yeah, it was, it was just the, it was bad for nature. Yeah. So you made a whole bunch of it. No, I made like a small amount, but I tested it <laughs> on, on, a, on like five ants Damn or something. It. But it's like when they spray pesticides on fields, they're killing like millions of bugs, Ant right? Murder. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like. But when I kill five ants, <laughs> suddenly YouTube has to demonetize my video. Oh, it never got demonetized. I just took it down because I just thought it was like in poor taste. But at the same time, I was like. Don't they sell like ant killing stuff? Yeah. 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 See, that's the thing. People no, yell you, at you about you it. Run, they like run like raid ads, but you can't yeah. put a couple ants in a microwave. <laughs> People would be yelling at you, yet they surround their entire home with ant baits. Well, and, first like, of all, and the worst part too with the like the raid stuff is it advertises. And I always laugh I laugh because it sounds so bad. They see it'd be like kills the it would say like kills the entire colony. Yeah, kills them dead on contact. It, it, well it's no it'll say, like, like it's, leaves them just barely like, alive enough to come home and kill their own. <laughs> Like kill the rest of their family. Family. I was saying yeah. like it's like how it described it saying like, they'll take the bait back and kill every single like kill the entire colony. Yeah. But the way they describe it, it sounds horrific. And yeah, then Ant Genocide. It is, but basically. Cody's lab puts one grasshopper in a microwave and everybody loses <laughs> their mind. Yeah, do like, you, well, you remember that? I don't actually no. he put a grasshopper. He, he got, he got a microwave. strike. I thought it was because an ant or something. He put a video on Patreon. To like preview to, to the people that supported him oh my God, and crazy. somebody reported that video oh my even God. though he hadn't made it public they were basically people were like yeah you probably shouldn't like it's a little bit much even i mean it's an interesting experiment <laughs> do you think of the stuff that people did to people like i've like, opened the microwave before and a fly flew out and I said, yeah, How the if, heck does that happen? If you brought a microwave back length, into the dark ages, smaller. they for sure would put people's head and heads in it. Like That's the data. You filmed it. You pour a little bit of molten aluminum on screaming cockroaches. Yeah. And everyone think, loses their mind. But it's a, it's a very weird separation where it's like, you buy that raid. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to... You go, oh, there's like five ant colonies around my house. I'm just going to kill five... It's thousands of ants. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're but not then, even doing science. You're just you're, killing No, them. you're just killing them because it's inconvenient to you. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, let's talk about murder more. <laughs> But it's like <laughs> if you if you kill them on camera, I think the implication is that this is entertainment. Like people watching it are supposed to be entertained. I think that's why people don't like it. Yeah, there's definitely an implication of like filming. Like I think what was it, Tech Rex or one of these channels that yeah, did the that cockroaches? Was, that was Tech Rex, yeah. He had a bunch of molten like aluminum. Metal, yeah. And oh. Poured it on a bunch of cockroaches. Oh, and it was God. like 
That's kind of that's that was like for pure entertainment. That's bad. There was nothing else. There. I'm not sure what that science experiment even could have been justified <laughs> as, other than like what kind of noise do they make when they get really hot? That, yeah. That that's kind of it's it's <laughs> it's one? honestly one step worse than what Alan said. It's just cooking them with a magnifying glass. <laughs> it's a little it's bit like, sadistic of yeah, like, like entertainment value. Whereas right. do not really I, like that's the thing. Like at least it's I think it's like arguably just as bad if you're like i don't like ants in my house so i'm just gonna kill a whole colonies it's like at least you have like i guess like a purpose that makes sense versus like you're just gonna be cooking them for no reason what about the videos that are just based about like just based on killing mice that's bad and that's just gonna say those are sean woods is he that guy he does he like shows like all the mice traps but it's like if you're looking for a mouse trap no, I think that's okay. We're saying the messed up ones where it's the guy like the goes, Indian he like where they innovates kind of his killing mice. Oh, right. The one that was like a tank full of crabs and he just threw the mice in. It's, it's kind of just like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, electrified aquarium trap. But it's like, it's not super electrified. So it kind of just like. And then he's like, it's okay scream. because it, 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 it freezes their muscles and then they just drown from it. You're like, what, what, it's like, what is this trap? And then he says, it's okay, because I take him home and I feed him my chickens and stuff. <laughs> Which, wait, this is the same thing that Sean I was Woods? doing with my turtle. <laughs> Kevin. One of the channels. Kevin. Yeah. Kevin oh, no, like, that's, that's the guy. That was me in another life. He used life. to do ant, like, little animals and mice and stuff, but now he just does wasps. Because mm. people don't care wait, much what, about what Does wasps. a chicken eat a dead mouse? Yeah, they're vicious. Whoa. Do you, you remember uh, in, think... in Kauai? Did you see the hog? Oh, we, yeah. It, it, we went to this rum tour in Kauai uh, spring break. Chelsea, Sandra, Kevin, and I. Yeah. And uh, there's like a farm where they, it's like they may used to make rum. They probably used to grow sugar cane. It's like a petting zoo type thing. Uh -huh. So they have a train and you get on the train and it's like an old, de they train. like and you like go around this this farm, but it's, on any long story short, you stop at like an area with a bunch of hogs and mm -hmm. uh, horses. horses and cow, a couple of cows or something. Yeah. And they give you tortillas, like corn tortillas and it's you can feed like, them. Psh. And as we were leaving, I mean, there's like, probably 50 hogs a couple dozen yeah a hogs. lot of birds come up to try to get the scraps oh too. no oh no a hog <laughs> yeah. had like like pinned a bird down oh, and was like had bit like one of the wings and was like trying to pull it apart yeah oh my god I, I was, I, I have never seen, I mean, I know that animals, like you've seen these videos of like deer. Yeah, that will eat birds and stuff. Like, bird. Oh yeah, there'll be like a little Charles bird and you're too. like, oh, it's like, it's like Disney. And then it turns into <laughs> demon Disney where it like, <laughs> like freaking puts the whole bird in its yeah. mouth. And it's, like, it's like, I mean, in nature, it's like meat is just, nothing's better than meat. Like I've if, seen if squirrels you, eat lizards. If you have a chance, like, even if you're a freaking herbivore, if you have a yeah. chance to eat meat, you're going to eat meat. It's like condensed plant. Yeah. It's like, how do you, it's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like it's like a laser. It's like a plant laser. Plant. You take the plant and you focus it to a, like a super fine point and then you eat that. Yeah, the deer's like, my teeth don't feel right for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's like all the work that that creature did to like yeah. build up that yeah. flesh That's, and you, it's just yours now. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, was there like kids there? Were somebody kids? in Fortnite? They didn't see it. They didn't see the we hog saw tear it. this bird to I was, pieces. I was like, it was aw something, I mean, yeah. awful. Something I saw that was similar to that. I mean, that's a kid. I, I remember it. I, it makes more sense in this case, but it was a cat. So I was at my neighbor's house and his cat caught a bird. And at the time I was like, oh, you know, all the times I saw cats catch birds, they kind of just like held them and the bird got away. Yeah. But then I, I watched it for like way too long. My neighbor ended up like saying like, like pulling me away, being like, you don't want to see that. Mm. Oh, it was just the cat like slowly tearing the bird apart and eating it alive. And Nigel's that's like, that's when I learned that nature was not forgiving. And yeah. then what the, he ate half the bird. <laughs> Murder <laughs> yeah. He ate half the bird and like the guts were like hanging yeah. out uh. and the bird's still alive. Oh. And then the cat just left. And like then the birds just like crawling, oh, and I was like, God. you know what? I Cats learned. Are sadistic. I think I was like ten or eleven, and I was like, I still remember it. I was like, that's. That was a good day. <laughs> no, I was like, I learned wait, that nature is wait, not. Smile, do that smile again. Uncomfortable <laughs> smile. Uncomfortable truth. Dear smile. Diary. Half these are gonna be like my finger covering the flash, and they're just gonna be completely underexposed. I actually remember too, my neighbor when the bird when the cat caught the bird. Is that booze. And I was following it. My neighbor said, you don't want to see what's going to happen. Oh. And then I did watch, and I, he was right. <laughs> you, you did not want to see, in fact. I, I'm excited to see if people say we're still talking over each other. Is this proof that it is actually the delay that causes the issues, or are we just no, incredibly disrespectful? That's it. Yeah. We're just, <laughs> we are in just incredibly brains. disrespectful to each no, other. No. <laughs> the problem is, Alan and I talked about this, it's the separation right now. We are two separate parties here. That's 
Yeah, the so time I'm it takes right? for the sound so to get is, over you know what I air realized? to delay. This is actually kind of we got some like race war stuff going on right now. Oh, it is. It yeah. is actually. How did that happen? Wait, how did we separate like this? Race war. Race war. Is that a 50-50 chance that that happens? <laughs> or no, it's less than that. It's like a 25% chance that we were perfectly split by Asian just, versus just, white. Just naturally <laughs> so gravitated. Yeah, here is a gradient. It is. Yeah. Oh, from <laughs> really? Am I white? Most well? non-white to most white. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, no. shit. Yes! <laughs> I'm not the whitest. Uh, Did you... that happen? Was that just a natural... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a little burnt. It is me. No, but you, what's your ethnicity? It's also like you have, you have to European, I'm like, Swedish, yeah. Yeah, you, you what are you, Kevin? Like Irish. Okay. Yeah, but was your, one of your parents, were they an immigrant? Um, no, not no, that, see, not that most fresh. White, most white. Most white. <laughs> yeah. My, my half, my, most of my family's immigrants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's why, like, it Will's white, gradient. but he still got sort of the, yeah. like, second well, That's why we should close the borders My grandpa's dad. I got mine. Everyone else can suck it. So yeah, it's act- it is actually like a rainbow of, of a racian, uh, yeah, gradient. of melanin, a ra- gra- race gradient, race rainbow, race ra- a racist <laughs> rainbow. So a racist the question, rainbow. The question is, why did that happen? Is it just that I'm naturally more attracted to around, an Asian man, Asian <laughs> than a white man? I mean, you are more comfortable around. Yeah, uh, I feel much less. And I scared. wanted to stay as far away from Alan as yeah, possible. Exactly. <laughs> but that's for different reasons. And by contrast, you're the most uncomfortable. <laughs> My favorite thing about Alan, I think this is, I love this, is. Oh God, uh, <laughs> where is this going? <laughs> Illinoisian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, because it's a thing. I don't know if that ever happened. I, I mean, I you, get it. You but just, I get it, but it's also really funny. Why? It's just that. Have you ever? Has this happened to you? Of like someone asking, like, where are you from? And then you're like, you're like, oh well, he like, just asked me Illinois, where I'm from, right, or whatever. And it's kind of like the question is always like, like, no, where are you really from? So it's I have I had in university I had a friend <laughs> who's from North Carolina. He said that happened to him all the time. Yeah, but in Montreal, I've never had. I the only time I had a person, it was even it was really weird. This, I think she was like half part like drunk or something. It was yeah. In the day, she comes up to me. She's like, "Where are you from?" And I was talking to my brother. She just interrupts the whole conversation. She's like, where are you from? And I'm she like, had to know immediately. well, she gets priority over you. Yeah. And I was just like, uh, why, why? And she goes, are you from Ireland? And I was like, no. She asked you if you're from Ireland. Yeah. She's like, to be you- fair though, you definitely like, you look white, but like kind of like a, like a weird white. <laughs> <laughs> Good description. Then she was like, she's like, are you from Ireland? I'm like, no. And she goes, but like, you're Irish though. And I'm like, I'm like a. Where did, where, I'm like, make... I'm like, I'm like, technically I'm a quarter Irish. She goes, I heard the accent. What? No. And then she left and I was like, I do not understand she what this is. out. Oh my God. She, 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 I knew it. I heard the accent. And I was just like, none of this made sense. That's like one of the only times I've ever had someone ask me. That's really bizarre. <laughs> it's just, it's just a weird thing. But I've where never had, like, yeah, I've never had what you, you had. Like that does, you don't do that till I've gotten it way less <clears throat> in Los Angeles. Actually, the most I get it from are other Asian people. Because like, I, and well, not, at least for them, they'll be straight up like you Chinese or Korean. You know, one of well, those. they would walk up. Yeah, it was, it was mostly when I was in school. They would walk up to me and they'd just be like, uh, they they would just say like, "What are you?" And I'd be like, uh, "Like Japanese." Like I knew it. Like it was always Chinese. Like mm-hmm. they wanted, they recognized the Asian, but they didn't know which, so they were curious. It's almost it's almost weirder when someone like tries to like walk around it. That's sort of mm. the part that bugs me. It's like, where are you from? It's like you know what they're actually trying to ask, but just ask it. As it as an Asian man, yeah. What is your opinion if someone calls you an Oriental? Honestly, I, that one's that, that one's not that bad. No. So what, what happens is they're old. I no, would no, I would so say people, that's like an old white no, I'm person. I'm bringing this thing. up because people don't like it. But what happens is I've had multiple arguments with my grandmother because she will she she will not stop referring to herself as an Oriental. I th- I I mean and that's my fine. Mom, and my mom as well. No, but I'm saying that I I know it's and the grand scheme of things it's not much of anything. Mm. But it's like it is a very outdated term. Yeah. And yeah. it's like nowadays if you were somebody and you refer to an asian person as an oriental it's yeah. kind of like what are you doing well, but I, my, i'll just say my grandmother though she does not understand so i keep saying like you don't you you don't refer to asian people as orientals mm. anymore and my grandma's like but then what am i <laughs> like i don't know like <laughs> i have never been referred to as oriental in a like in an insulting way it was always just a really old person who yeah, just they're, they're, that they're was kind there. of just like yeah. not but i'm saying like nowadays people view it as an outdated kind of like naive 
I guess, like uninformed yeah, term. Yeah. It's kind of like endearing insulting. racism a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking. About? It's like that kind of like that well, nice sweet I'll, grandmother I'll, racism. I'll tell you, it's. It was like two years ago. I was talking to some guy. We we're trying to buy something off of him, and he saw my car, and it's like a two door coupe. And we just bought McDonald's, so I put it. There's no place to put it, so I was on the ground. And he was appalled at how dirty my car was. Is it dirty though? No, it wasn't really. But then he goes, I thought. I kind of get this vibe that I wouldn't be surprised if your car it was wasn't actually dirty. Now you've been in the car, right? It wasn't dirty. Your car's fine, yeah. But it was okay. just, I'm saying, the endearing it's, racism. Um, wait, Alan's standards for clean cars are very. <laughs> well, very, see, very on the way low. to the strip club, there was plenty of room for, <laughs> for everyone to go. So Alan, actually, that's actually, clean actually car. that's I know that 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 story is inaccurate because my car has no space. <laughs> Alan, but, how much wait, how much tape is on the outside of your car? How much what? Tape is on the outside of your car. I uh, uh, less than zero or greater uh, than zero. I I can measure it exactly. There's about four, I would say, three foot long strips <laughs> on the right side of my car because the window rolled down one day and it never rolled back up. <laughs> so you like taped it up horizontally. Yeah, so there was, there's a little gap that's covered up with tape right now. So the wind and the rain doesn't oh, get in. Yeah. But I just want to finish saying, basically, <laughs> all the guy commented was, he goes, "Wow, your car is so dirty." <laughs> And he goes, I thought the Japanese yes! were much cleaner. Oh How did he know you were Japanese? Because I said I was. Okay. Actually, no, sorry. Why worse. did you tell a random no, sorry, man sorry, that sorry, sorry, you're sorry. like, sir, I'm Japanese? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, 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 I remembered it wrong. He actually said, I thought the Chinese were a lot cleaner. Oh, that's no, it somehow got and worse. Then, no, no, but, then oh, I was, boy. but then I was there. I'm like, but the fact that he thought I was Chinese, and it's also just a weird racist thing to say. But the way he said it, it wasn't mean. I was like, you know what? I think uh, the the worst insult was literally to you as a person. <laughs> what he was like, he like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, just saying like yeah. I thought. I thought like I was kind of insulted. Oh yeah, like my car is dirty. Car's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird expectation to have yeah, based on race. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, but the, the thing too is he was Middle Eastern. And, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying that like the way that. Wait, he, let me take a picture of Nigel being racist. <laughs> no, no, but he, he's the one who said this. He go, he was saying he then said he goes. Our, like my, I don't know. He's like, we keep our cars very clean. Like it was pretty a racist, co like racist comments. But he did. It wasn't cause... not racist. <laughs> no, he said that he was referring to Middle Eastern people. He's like, we keep our cars very clean. Keep and digging. I, I asked, keep digging. Keep digging. <laughs> no, no, I asked. I was like, what? He he said he gets a car wash. He he gets the car cleaned at least once every two weeks. Like what interior. Wash? What kind of Middle Eastern oh, a lot. Yeah. And I was like. I look at his car. I'm like, how long have you had it? He's like, I think it was like a year or two. It looked like he was just purchased. Mm. And I was like, okay, like, I don't, that's excess. That's like the, so it's excessive. His interpretation of what's clean is just excessive. Yeah. I mean, probably because mm. OCD too, people are going to have. But much. he definitely was very racially uh, questionable. The, the, it was a racially charged was he, was he conversation. Old? He, he was like a 60 something year oh, old. Like, okay. Yeah, no. If he was like twenty something, I would have said something. But being sixty something, he was the he. You like could he's tell gonna he's so die. He's not gonna. That like, I'm just like. There's yeah. no point in even yeah. like. It means he spent a lot of time around the like lead fumes coming out of his yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Oh it. yeah. Here's, here's <laughs> how low the bar is in, in, in Illinois. Here's how low the bar is for for someone Chinese in Illinois. I was in a library once, and like no it's a library i was like studying or something just yeah. no provocation just a guy nerd normal me. normal he, oh, he asked mind. me he asked me just normal chinese guy in a library yeah. <laughs> he asked me if i was chinese or asian i think that says more about him than you though so i'm not, I'm not sure what did you answer i yeah i said chinese no i said i was half chinese half asian because that's true it's technically true i said i said i was like oh yeah uh i'm, I'm chinese on my mom's yeah, my side mom. my dad's asian <laughs> <laughs> and he, he he took he seemed very satisfied with the answer like yeah like i thought so and he like walked away <laughs> he probably thought to himself that he did like a good deed for yeah. the day but it is it is weird it's like i helped that man integrate with our country yeah like <laughs> what do you yeah what's your interpretation on that like it's like the weirdly it's racist but it's still positive like they'll ask you like what are they like are you chinese and you're like yeah they're like that's amazing i love the chinese and i've gotten so, just i've like, gotten that before that's too. really weird. i love yeah. chinese food yeah, yeah I, or something like panda that. express yeah. is delicious <laughs> yeah. it's just like it's positive but you're like it's also kind like it's just racist yeah i but mean it's, it's like i really like squid game it's like yeah. oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to learn how to school, use. That's cool, yeah. I guess. I mean, I I would prefer like if that if people didn't just try to do that, but I also way prefer it over people just straight up you, being mean. But you know what was weird? I've never experienced racism at all in Montreal. But my friend who's Chinese, 
Uh, he you actually, mean Asian? I thought he was from Montreal at first, but I found that he's actually born in Hong Kong or mm. Taiwan, and he learned English at a British school. But for some reason, he just the way he speaks, he just sounds like he's from Montreal or like generic American. Mm-hmm. But oh, your went, English is so good. No, what happened? Uh. Was, no, no, this was the weirdest thing. Like, I, I called it. Because we would just walk around Montreal. You're gonna and get ready for a racist. I know. I I call. <laughs> I, I, I the most racist thing. You've no, ever it's, heard it's not. Life. It's not racist. It's, <laughs> that's how it starts every time. That's how no, it it's not me being racist. I said I. I started getting. I called it a verb. I told them. I'm like it's get. I said it's getting knee howed because he. <laughs> we would be walking down the street. And people, random people, would look at him and go knee how. Oh, oh gee. And God. he would just be like hi, and they're like nice and like or they, they were just <laughs> what? but they were just white people Cringe. and like we, oh, you know, but the weirdest God. one is we went to a restaurant and the guy just went ni hao and my friend's like hi and he's like ni hao well and is there like a lot of uh, i don't know what to say anymore like asian asian people, people in montreal no, but the guy didn't is there like a really big population okay, so i the time that it was at a restaurant it was actually kind of offensive because it was just weird. Like the guy just had saying it or something. No, or? he just said it a couple times, then and then just spoke English, and it was just weird. But then after that, it was on the street. We had randomly like a, people just walk by and just like nihao, and my friends like, what? And they would just keep walking. Like there was no conversation. There was nothing. Like that That's was bizarre. that was weird. That's yeah. weird. That's weird. I, so like I th- I feel like on the f- the flip side of all this is is I am on my mom's side. I'm like the first generation born here. My mm-hmm. dad's side, I'm the second. So he was the first generation. Mm-hmm. No one ever asks me. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's kind of weird. It's, uh, uh, I, I, I don't really I know, what the, you know what, if you traveled, <laughs> people would ask you, but here's what they would ask you. Are you American or Canadian? <laughs> How do you say hello in Swedish? So. <laughs> like you imagine if like people could like just clock you as Swedish and like everywhere you went like they would just fucking like oh I know a little bit of I Swedish can, I can like, tell you when people are speaking Swedish uh, I cannot hello just tell hello like H A L L O that's one of those languages where it's just I could ask my mom I could say like like Yada is I love you Bice is poop Bice is what uh poop Bice. Poop? Like, I think it means like going poop. It was my oh, like okay. my gamer tag when I was a kid. Bice. Oh, uh, uh, yog, yog face is I farted, but I don't know how to say hello. <laughs> I'm going to look it up right And then right William now. in Swedish is William. Nice. It's supposed to be William, but if they If I look it up and it's hello, then... It might actually be. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't really know what the difference is. It's what? interesting. Oh, but between me and Will both being sort of like second generation... It's because you, you look different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even I was I was trying to paint that picture of you. Uh huh. I just, no, you know, I, hala. <laughs> I should have known because in IKEA, right? How do you say it? H A L A. Hala. Yeah. Hala. How do you, hala. Pronou- how do you pronounce? It? I, I'm also like my experience with Swedish people is very weird it just, because it is. it's all. Just look. Yeah. Oh, weird. It is I, hello. I just always thought okay, that they said hello. I knew more yeah. Swedish than you. <laughs> uh, my my experience with Swedish people is very because we're my family's always been mine's apart. exclusively through IKEA. I mean that's pretty close. <laughs> it, well, maybe ten years ago, I, I, IKEA's gotten pretty uh, like uh, OEM self like. I just read all. I just read all, all. It's like a self names. feedback type mm, thing where they have to get everything more, is more now Swedish. Ikea brand it gets like more and more Swedish. Um, but. Basically, the group of Swedish people that I like grew up around, it's Swinglish, right? So you've got mm, half Swedish, yeah. half English, and so it's like when they say hello, I don't know. What they I think they're just saying hello, and they they're sound funny. Yeah. They're, Swedish. <laughs> they're just saying. It's I'm different. I like William. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So hello. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's my name, but with a weird accent. <laughs> but, but now you learned. Yeah. It's just hello. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually funny because uh, Rumi. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joel is, mm. is Swedish. Yeah. And they came to my house once for, I think it was like Easter or something. My mom was there. Yeah. And so they just went ham, like talking. Dude, yeah, she was so hype. Like, I think I She was I think so I excited. Because, like, she doesn't get to speak Swedish very often. Yeah. And, and I don't know. Like, I can't right, speak yeah, Swedish. Yeah. And so, Wait, how so. many languages can you speak? Like, one and a quarter. I can, I could survive in Mexico. <laughs> it's a vocabulary problem. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wait, I, Conjugating. Is it really just the language? Yeah, is it a language? <laughs> if you can survive in Mexico or not? <laughs> I mean, if, if, uh, if, uh, no, probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
This is you. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's you being racist. You look very happy. Right, add, it, add it to the racist file. <laughs> What's our plan for here? We got a bunch of stuff planned for Florida. Yeah. Um, we've got we've done almost very none of it. This was actually one of the things we were supposed to do, but it's so like we've set been up here for new about a week and done. Jet <laughs> Wait, have squad. we? Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. I've been here for like twelve hours. Monday. Yeah, so tomorrow would be more than twelve hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, it has been a week. Jesus. And we've accomplished <laughs> what? I I have a snake in a box. Killed a bunch of animals. We did. Rural waves. We killed fish and yeah. then let them decompose in the tobacco <laughs> truck. Wait, like did, literally did the most. They were dead fucking... before they got cooked, or is that how they died? They died because we pulled them out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I will say that we have committed quite a few crimes. <laughs> But they're soft crimes, It's like right? all soft crimes, but like, it's like the level of crime where you're just like, like, so I have no a felonies. So wait, I have no a question. Felonies. I have a question. So they, they, all these crimes didn't, Florida likes to think they're a free state. There's, you can't do anything here. But like, there's, you know, there's like two types of crimes. Like if you admit that to later on, like no one was hurt, like no one cares. Right. Right. And then there's the crimes that you admit later on and it was they, bad. they yeah. still matter. Are, but too like, bad what's the, the statute, limit? Like, what's the limit of what you guys could do here? Well, we there, haven't done anything there's a, bad. There's something called the statute of limitations. <laughs> so if anybody knows what the statute of limitations for... No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all going to be bleep. It's okay. I think yeah, it's okay. Right. We're just like... <laughs> just silence. <laughs> silence and mouth blurred. Uh, oh, I, I, I have a video that I'm very excited uh, to republish in about four years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once that statute is up. <laughs> we're gonna film with moist critical yeah power tool racing i hope that happens we got to test the uh, the speed sensor today oh yeah uh and we're gonna try to do four recordings on the podcast we wanted to do the boat one i mean we could do it after we want to get uh um one of kevin's friends see who helps with video steven yeah. has a pontoon boat uh we wanted to take all the the chairs and railings off of it and put a folding table and then record on a like a, just a flat barge driving around a that would be or good something. i think that'd be a lot of fun uh and then you're trying to get a video yeah i want to do dangerous More toys dangerous part toys. two you got any ideas for that i feel like you just make like an ammonia bomb or something oh i'm part of this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. or like make make a like a chemistry set from hell i'd have to think about it i've got some ideas for you He's oh, okay. pre-written yeah. that's good well you got to bring down your super hot capsaicin oh that's why you wanted me to bring it yeah because mm. the only problem is the earliest you get here is wednesday that's fine you know what? I'm growing like super hot peppers. You could help me extract them from the ghost chilies that I'm growing. Oh, that, that, help that's, me extract that's the capsaicin. Easier. That's yeah. easier. And then for all the Patreon extra stuff, we're planning on doing um, Ooh, like yeah. actual activities. So we bought yeah. a bunch of... Uh, <laughs> not this uh, bullshit. <laughs> not whatever this crap is. Actually, kind of, I feel like this probably actually looks kind of nice. Like we're relaxing in a nice concrete garage. Yeah. yeah. We got natural sunlight. It looks good. It looks, actually looks Does like it actually, in the White House. Does it actually? You got, you got the flag behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, the, yeah. the low budget White House. <laughs> it looks like the White House. Yeah. <laughs> I like to imagine this is what it's like in the White House. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe when. Never mind. Um, <laughs> President Camacho. Camacho, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to paint for the extra. I don't know, not this one. Today, I think we'll just go around and try to take all the pictures. We have to take like probably 200 uh, Polaroids. The dog food versus. Oh yeah, we yeah. got uh, yeah. Take, dog like, food versus like, human test. food. Like, can you feel, like what does dog food taste like versus like Campbell's? Yeah, dog food versus Campbell's. I'm excited. For, I'm actually really excited for that. I'm uh, not. I feel like it's gonna you, be really yeah. clear. I think the difference is gonna be very clear when you taste it. What about cat milk versus real milk? <laughs> okay, I have a question. That you were talking about what, cat what do you milk. Mean, real milk. What is cat milk? It's. I think it's milk for cats. How do they get the I don't milk think it's out milk of the cat? From cat. <laughs> It's milk for cats. You know, I had this idea a long time ago to make rat cheese. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I looked up how to get the milk out of rats, and it's, like, actually more difficult. We still have to make human soap. Oh. What about cat We're closer milk. to Mexico than we've yes. ever been. Actually, that was Texas. We were so close. We were right there. Are you going to, like, fight club it? Like, steal some... No. Some we just, we just think that we could... They're more likely to work with us there. Yeah. Here, I think you mean like sell you human fat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> How do you ask somebody that? Hey, uh, my name's Kevin. I have a YouTube channel on YouTube. I have five million subscribers. This is how we start all my emails. Do you actually? Yeah. Oh, I and I would like to buy huge. I actually I sent an email to a company. 
I also I did kind of word it in a way to make it sound suspicious because it. With your it. chemistry and my complete disregard for everything, for we laws. can definitely make human stuff. I, 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 that's a weird ass. I sent, like, I sent that's it a very to, weird ass. That's also a huge biohazard. I sent it to uh, pharmaceutical companies because they do sell tissue. They won't. And I was just like, hello, I'm interested in purchasing. And then I just listed their item number, item. And it's like, uh, genuine human tissue. Well, here's the thing. I bet. Could, <laughs> so if you get a surgery, you can keep the part they cut no, out, right? No. no. Why? It's no. a biohazard. You can it's keep the placenta. Huge problem. You can keep that's the baby. That's a religious <laughs> thing. That's only if you promise know, to actually. eat it. That's so gross. <laughs> I got to keep Why my do dog's do tooth. He, so got to, I, he got to get his tooth pulled. And I, I kept, I kept all my wisdom teeth, but I've had friends who were told they weren't allowed. I didn't get mine either. I think there's something I about a, I have a bag of my teeth at my house. <laughs> I think somebody like, you know. Kept... Wait, that's a picture moment. <laughs> teeth. And I just steal teeth. If anybody's people. getting liposuction, please ask if you can keep. The... Oh, yeah. This, this. Yes. Yeah. If you can get liposuction. Or know anybody. Yeah, that is, and, that's getting or liposuction. Or if you do liposuction, yeah, yeah and actually, you can send us or allow um, us just to pick like, up a bag or of coerce that. your families oh, yeah. or if friends. If you want to give up your medical license for no, us, no, 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 no. That's so, why we got to go to Mexico. Though. I feel like they're, no, but they're probably not as strict. They have there. done this, and I don't know if it was in Europe or in the U.S. I think it was in Europe. They did. It was an art thing to make human soap. So this is an this, this is, is an art thing. This is an art thing. Oh wait, it's been done. It's been done before. Oh, they did in Fight Club. Yeah. Yeah. No, but there's a European artist who did it. So we are trying to do the American slash Canadian version. Yeah. It's art. You could see what um we are not what selling. Makes the soap the will not soap. be sold. Right. Anyways, I think you should be totally in the clear if you harvest your own fat. Like no one I don't can have stop a lot you, of fat. Though. No one can stop you from just cutting yourself open and like pulling it out, right? So you could build a liposuction thing pretty <laughs> quick, right? Pretty easily. I, I have a vacuum pump. That, that is such a freaking horrible idea. You'd actually probably kill the person. Yeah. Yeah. Because I watched a bunch of... You could, of, like, uh, just suck up... What if you just, like, go into their artery and they go... Well, so, basically, you have you, you have the problem... Shrivel up. There's, I, I mean, I'm not an expert, but... <clears throat> I watched a bunch of plastic surgery stuff. I'm a human raisin. You have to go in between the muscle and, like, the upper layer. Of and, like, skin. if you're stupid, you can... I think you can... Suck up their muscle? You, no, I think if you puncture something, you can cause, like, a bunch of problems... And like what you said, you have to know where the arteries are because yeah. you could, in theory, shove fat into an artery and cause like a heart attack or like a stroke. Have you something. seen the wands? It's like, a, I think it's like, it's like a tube. It's have like you a seen tube, tube, but it has like a hole in the side, not the end. Yeah. Have you seen somebody getting liposuction? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, br it's brutal. It's disgusting. It's, yeah. yeah. It looks like the, from the mummy with the bugs under the skin. Oh, the scarabs. And if that you gave don't me do nightmares. it right, then you take the fat out unevenly. I think you just kind of get lumpy. like yeah. lumpy. It's, like, it's an art, I feel like. I mean... That's why I guess you pay a bunch of money for plastic surgery is you're basically paying an artist to can you, sculpt can you. Can you carve it so that it looks like you have a six pack in your fat belly? Ooh, that's <laughs> like I think you they just do that. Like they, the 100%, if you have the money, somebody will do that for you. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> like you have this massive beer belly, but it's got like very sculpted <gasps> abs on the front. Hey, if we talk about plastic surgery, stuff, we can right? get a bunch of plastic surgery ads on the video and those pay really well. I hear. Wait, what? Ooh, liposuction, rhinoplasty, um, a facelift. Ooh, but butt wait, lift. Wait, wait, Brazilian, wait, what are you talking about? Getting it? Uh, if we can talk about like plastic surgery and they run plastic surgery ads, yeah, the, they get the best ad rate on YouTube. Really It'll high, cancel yeah. out all the animal abuse stuff. We yeah, talk about yeah. and the racist stuff. <laughs> this is a great podcast. Uh, Botox, uh, facelift, but <laughs> Brazilian butt lift. Um, wait, fa wait. Facelift in L.A. County, Los Angeles County, California. Ball but drop. Nigel, how hard really would it be to uh, make Botox out of botulism? That's what they do, Ooh. right? I wouldn't mess with that. <laughs> <laughs> I would though. <laughs> it's botulinum, right? And it's just like I think you can it'll kill you in the microgram range, right? Yeah, but that's what you turn it into not not deadly stuff. Like right? the actual Botox is like nanograms a mil, I think. That's how much you have to fun. take to die? Murder know. photo. <laughs> that's like natural poisons. I don't I don't know those very well. <laughs> it's organic. Are you out? Oh, doesn't tell you. I'm dry. It does. Reload. Reload. <laughs> but, All right, yeah. we've done enough. Okay. Here. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this absolute disaster. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Disaster piece. I don't know how this disaster piece. This is. <laughs> we try our best, and our best is not good enough a lot of the time. So we're sorry. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see uh, everybody. 
for Patreon, we're going to run around and take photos of each other naked. And maybe you'll get one of those. It'll be like one in a thousand will be na- <laughs> yeah, naked. Dick, dick. You have to guess whose dick it yeah, is. Yeah, guess whose It'll be obvious. <laughs> it's yeah. clear that that one's from Illinois. 